Hi, Nelson here once again. Today I would like to show you how to create a Stripe account in Ghana. So what is Stripe? Head over to stripe.com and see what Stripe is. The new standard in online payments. Stripe is the best software platform for running an internet business. We handle billions of dollars every year for forward thinking businesses around the world. So this is their biggest platform for internet business entrepreneurs who want to take monies from people they work for, contractors, people who buy their products. Stripe is the biggest that you can find on most e-commerce platforms. It's almost the industry standard. As compared to PayPal, which is also very huge, PayPal deal with people who do a lot of freelance works who want to be paid immediately. But with Stripe, Stripe allows you to receive payments and the security with Stripe is bigger as compared to PayPal. Stripe is more streamlined and more advanced than PayPal. If you need a very quick way of getting paid, then PayPal is the best. But the reason why I'm doing this video, or why I'm creating this video is that I've had a lot of questions from people who are venturing into e-commerce businesses, dropshipping businesses, creating online stores, Shopify stores, and a whole lot. And they need a Stripe account. Why would they need a Stripe account? Without a Stripe account, you may not be able to receive payments from a lot of sellers online. Your online store is almost always available to everybody in the world or internationally. For that reason, you need a more robust payment or online payment platform. And Stripe is the most recommended or the most used by most e-commerce platforms or the huge online portals. So recently someone called me that he wanted to create a Shopify store. So then he needs a Stripe account for that purpose. I've had a number of questions related to that previously. So I thought I would address that today. So Stripe, just like PayPal, doesn't work with Ghanaians. It's quite sad. Ghana is not on the list of countries where Stripe works. So what do we do? We have to create our business or work from the US where Stripe works. <laughs> what are we going to do about that? We can decide to sit home and say, no, it was not going to work or make a way. I wouldn't post my autobiography on you, but I don't believe in geographical hindrances or <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but any reason related to my geographical situation or where I come from, I don't accept that. Any benefit anybody would get anywhere in the world, I'm entitled to that as well. Mm -hmm. So I would either hack it or find my way through and I'll, I'll make sure I do it ethically and show other people how to do it. So just like PayPal, I'm also going to crack this Stripe thing by using a, a few ways. It's not about entering into their software, no, but we have ways we can create the accounts by using US details and other things. Legitimately, these are tools and resources we are allowed to use. So everything you're going to do today is very ethical. Nothing on ethical here. Or we are not going to use any fake names or fake whatever. Everything we are going to use today is very legitimate. So let's start the process. First of all, let me show you that I have a Stripe account. Even though I don't have any money in them. But let me sign in. It's been a while since I signed into my account. So most of the time they would direct me to log in from my email. Okay, so now protect your account with two-step uh, authentication. I'll do that later. So now I'm called upon to put in my phone number. But I'll skip this step for now. And there you are with my Stripe account. 
So I have a test API key. This is a very dangerous, <laughs> a very dangerous resource I'm <laughs> giving to the world. But unfortunately, it's just a test API key. If someone gets hold of this keys, these secret keys and publishable keys from your Stripe account, then they have access to your account. In fact, there is one I wouldn't show you, but with my payments, I have a secret key and one, I think it's a published key as well. If I give that to anybody or people who know about online payments, get hold of that, I'm dead. If I have any money in my account, I'm just giving the money to them. So why is security very important with these online payment portals? This is just like a bank account. In fact, you have your banking details as well here. So you make sure you put this with all your heart and with all the security you can have access to. The number two tip for using Stripe is that with Stripe, you can create multiple accounts. So with this account, I think I have a number of accounts here and I can create more. So if you have other businesses, you can create more with this Stripe account. It's free as well, just like PayPal. <laughs> So I have zero zero. If I had something going on online where I've linked it to this account, I'll be I'll be seeing payments here. Yesterday's payments, but I have zero zero dollars already. <laughs> yeah. So I have a deposit already, I think just about um one dollar or so. It was deposited in, in September eighth, twenty seventeen, about two years ago. I can view my balance and everything else. I hope I'm not going to expose myself and show anything that I shouldn't show to anybody here. But that's, that's just about it. So with without much ado, I'll show you how to create this account. I'll log out and then we will start a process just like a newbie is starting to create an account. I'll go to stripe.com once again and then try to sign up. Okay, so let's start now. Okay, so you have your email address. Okay, full name, eTurkey, and then let's. So I have a, um, a password manager I'll use for creating this account. In fact, I use that for almost every account I create. I have videos on this already. You want to use a password manager and you, don't, you have not seen that video or those videos. You just let me know in the comments area and I'll show you how to go about that. So you generate and fill. And then I'll add that to my password that is in my password manager. I'll verify that I'm not a robot and then I can create a Stripe account. It's as simple as that. Mm, quick and easy. Okay. So now you have an unnamed account. I'm a newbie. I'm starting to create an account. I have been able to do all these things because I exploit a lot and I I make sure I go through the drill and the process. Try my best to enjoy the process. So enjoy it as well. Power your online business with payments. Create a platform or marketplace with connect. Build a recurring business or send invoices with billing. Activate your account. So let's go through this process and see if we can activate this account. How do you activate your account? Please verify your email before you activating your account. So you go to the email address you use for this purpose and then you find an email sent to that email address. Okay, so Stripe, confirm your Stripe email address. I confirm the email address. <laughs> I think I should. <laughs> I should be a little bit slow and moving too fast, but that's just about it. So that's the new account I have created. I confirm the email and I also verify that I'm not a robot. Okay. So now maybe I can be able to activate my account. Okay. So there you are. This is the most important step. Now, which country? Let's see if we can find Ghana. So these are the countries that Stripe works for. And I don't know whether there is any African country here. Maybe not. 
So we are going to go with the United States. If you don't see your country, let's let us know you are interested. Okay, I think I've done this before. <laughs> so I'm going to tell them that Ghanaians are interested in Stripe. Okay, sign up to be notified about your country. We will mail you as soon as we launch. <laughs> so notify us. Let's select the country. So now you can select a country here. We select Ghana and then we will be notified. We will be the first person to be notified if Ghana is on the list, maybe in 300 years time. <laughs> That's on the lighter side, but we can use our US details. If you don't have a US account details, this is a business and a very serious business account where you need very important US details, which you can get legitimately online. So we need a business address, which you can get online, a business phone, which you can also get online. What type of business are you working in? Is it an individual, sole proprietor, or single member, LLC, a limited liability company, non-profit organization, or a partnership? I think we'll go with this. And then you can also use Tribe Atlas to get an EIN form a company or open a bank account. Wow, I think we should explore this more. The last time I went to this website, I never saw this. So there's an option for you to get an employer identification number, EIN, and that can help you get a bank account in the US and form a company. That is very powerful. This is optional, but if you get this IEN, employer identification number, you put that here. If you use your social security number for business tax purposes, you can use that instead. Now, okay, so gturkey.com is our website name. You select an industry. What industry are we working in? We work with digital products. Uh, we also do consulting services. Most importantly, you can write, describe what you sell, whom do you sell to and when you charge your customers. How long after paying will your customers typically receive their goods and services? Within one day, within two weeks, within one month, more than one month. So basically, within two weeks, that will be conducive. You, the individual or sole proprietor, an individual or sole proprietor must activate their own account. If you are trying to activate this account on behalf of someone else, please invite them to become the account owner and complete the activation themselves. So if this applies to you, that you are creating this account for someone, then you have to put a person's detail here. You can verify your identity through these platforms as well. You will never post these accounts on your behalf. But this is another layer of verification you can work on. Our credit card statement details. This information may appear on your customer's, your customer's credit card statement. You can change it at any time. Statement descriptor. This is a business name that will show up on your customer's bank or credit card statement. So let's put that there. Okay. So that is how you look like. This is a simple statement from Citibank. Support phone number, use business address, bank details, routing number, and the account number. These are US details. So if you know about the US banking system, you know they have a routing number, an account number. You confirm the account number here. They will verify. Then you have a two-step authentication. If you have one, they will send a text message to the number. And then you can submit your application or save for later if you are not done. You can also use Google Authenticator. And then your Stripe account will be activated. That is how you, you get a Stripe account. So we go back to start inputting the data in there. Now we have a fair idea of whatever Stripe is looking for. So we are just about 5% to 10% done. We have more to do so our next step was 
yes, we are done with this step. If you don't see your country, we have already alerted them whenever they come to Ghana in 30, 30, 10. Yeah, this will let us <laughs> uh, business address okay so with the ien we use stripe atlas okay stripe has invited you to join stripe atlas the easiest way to start an internet company fill out a simple form and we handle the rest so you can focus on building your startup beautiful oh that's so much <laughs> charged once your company is fully set up that is safe for you you'll be charged 500 usd if you have this investment i think this may be worth it because you are working with stripe which is handling most of your payments and if they are going to get you these details immediately for your business no matter where you are and then they will need or the details you have is what they need and wouldn't require you to come to the u.s I think it's worth it if you are serious and you are already making sales. Stripe is very, very important for your business. So they'll help you form a company. Choose Stripe Atlas LLC or C as a corporation. You can open a business bank account. That is very powerful. There will be videos on this about opening a business account in the US. Obtain your employer identification number. They can help you with that. Accept payment with Stripe. They can actually help you do what we are doing here. Join the Stripe Atlas forum to connect with other founders. Access credit from Amazon Web Services. Wow. Handle your corporate taxes. You can learn more. Interesting. You can join Stripe Atlas. The best way to start an internet business. So I think these are information. These are information you would be grateful for. How do you join Stripe Atlas? You are currently logged in as login with different account create a new account let's continue and see okay so there you are with stripe atlas your business will be formed based on this information okay we use this information that says whether you are a good fit for stripe atlas and comply with our banking partners policies please be as detailed as possible most of the time as a Ghanaian, you would fill this form and the fact that you are from Ghana and you're from Africa becomes a problem. But I think you can always try. Let's see how it goes. In fact, we wanted to create a Stripe account, but we are seeing something here that we can also explore. Is your website finished? Yes. Does it include details about your product or services and pricing? No. But please make sure you fill out the rest of this section thoroughly. We may contact you for additional information. Tell us about your products. What are you building? Who are your customers? When and how much do you charge them? If your product is not yet publicly available, include a link to a mock-up or a screenshot. So they want more details. Most of the time, people are scared to give details out because they are not legitimate. If you believe in your business, I think you should give these details out. If you have the investment to, to invest, <laughs> 500 USD. I think it will be worth it if you are going to give them the right details. You save and continue, you save and continue. The bank account, the team, whatever, do the payment. And then they get you those details. Those details are very powerful. I, I, you can trust me. If they can do all of, all of that for you, I can help you with all, all of that. But that is a huge process and there is a huge learning curve with that. Let's continue what you were doing. So if you are interested, you should... Go with Stripe at last and enjoy yourself. For a business address, we would be using a platform such as Viaboss. The other ones we can look at, but Viaboss would do much of the work for us. Okay, so you, if you don't have a Viaboss address already, I think I have a lot of videos on Tree Turkey TV related to Viaboss, especially with PayPal. I would rather sign in instead of signing up. If you don't have one already, you just have to sign up for free and they'll give you a legitimate US address that you can use for your business. This is mostly a warehouse in one of the states in the US where you can ship your products to and then they would send your products through a courier service to Ghana. I have used this service for my shipment before. 
I chose what was the I chose which courier service. I think RMS. I used RMS. This service sent my products through RMS to me, even though custom sees the products at the ports and made me pay so much on <laughs> on taxes. But it was it was worth it. So let's use one of my accounts here. I'm not signing up. I am rather logging in. I'm not a robot. I can log in. So if you can see on my account, I have a number of products here. Shipment number. That's the shipment number. The products were shipped already from, I think they, these are purchases and the purchasing order number here. These are the stores I bought the products from. So if you have products, you'll find the details of the products here. You, I think you input them here. They can also order for you if you don't have time to do the order. But what we are looking for here is the US address. Mm -hmm. This is the US address I was talking about. It's automatically generated for you. The name, the streets, the um, states. I think mostly I love Oregon because it's a free sales tax state in the US. And they also give you a phone number. But we are not going to use this phone number. This phone number is for the warehouse. But we would have to find a phone number from another service. So this is the address we may be using for this purpose. So let's copy that. And then put it into an old pad. Okay. So which phone number service are we going to look at? No, you, you let us put this into a Stripe account for status the name is not important but the address line one copy and paste address line two copy and we paste and the city is Portland and the state is Oregon there you are, you choose it. The zip. There you have the zip nine seven two two zero. Nine seven two 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 zero. Okay. Okay, so now we are done with the address. And this is a legitimate address. In fact, if you put this on Google Maps, you find the address and that is a legitimate address. Let's look at this address. Let's put it in there. Copy that and put it here. Look at that. So this is where we are looking at Summer Street. That is the place and that is the warehouse. That is the address we just found. So let's click on this and see. There you are. This is the address. <laughs> so if you have products, you can use this address as your address from the US, the products will be kept here or Amazon, eBay or any online store you are buying from will send your products to this house here. And this is where they would package your, um, they would consolidate your products. If they are many, they will put it in one box or if you wanted them in their original boxes, they would send the products from here through a courier service, DHL, UPS, RMS, and that would depend on your payments because their boss would take, these people would show you different payments with different career services. So GHL will charge you this, RMS will charge you this, UPS will charge you this. So the one you choose is the one they use. And then from this place, your products will be sent to Ghana to the address you give them. You give them your local address. That's the forwarding address here. Uh, so we call these services like Viabos forwarding companies you know, for the products to you. So if you think that is a fake address, no, this is the address. You can actually identify this address on Google Maps. Thank you. I think we are done with you. And Stripe Atlas, I will explore that more. So now let's look for a business phone number. Maybe you don't have a phone number already. You can use this one from, from 
um, variables. But these numbers are normally for this house here. So if Stripe want to speak to you, they may call that address and they don't know you are creating a, a Stripe address with your phone number. So they may not be able to answer Stripe if they are having issues. But there are services you can use to get a phone number and use for this purpose. And that is also a legitimate phone number. Services like Test Now. Test Now is not in Ghana. I also have videos on Test Now on GTK TV. I think it's related to PayPal. You can also create a Test Now account. So let's see if I can log in into any of my accounts. With Test Now, you'd have to most of the time use a VPN. So let me see more tools extensions. Let me see if I have Hola. Hola is here. Let me put on Hola. Okay. So just for this tab here, I'll be using Hola. Okay, oh yes. Okay. So let me log in into one of my accounts with Hola. Never try to log in with Facebook. When Facebook sees that you have changed your IP your account on Facebook is doomed. So you can see, let me show it on the toolbar. You can see that just on this test now account, we have our IP chain to the US, but now they are telling us we, we have to enter our area code. So you see that the previous phone number I had has been reassigned or given to someone else. So the basic idea with test now is that they give free phone numbers to US citizens and we are in Ghana, we are not US citizens, but we can assess it by changing our IP. Mm, and that is not unethical. So I'll use the same the same area code, 543, which is for Oregon, Portland, in the US, for this test now account, 503, and continue and see whether I'll be offered a test now account with a phone number. This is an, an old account, but if you don't use the phone number for some time, they will reassign you with another phone number and take the old one and give it to someone else. So this is the phone number I have, your new phone number. And this is a legitimate phone number. You keep it, you can write it somewhere. People have been having issues with this. They are not able to get a phone number. There is a process when you are signing up. If there are latencies in your internet connection, that could be a, the cause. So I've got it. So it's synchronized with my old account. See, I have a number of messages here. I have an old account. If you are not able to sign up with a normal email address and a password, you can use your Google account, but never use Facebook. Use your Google account with your IP changed or you can then get the test now phone number. Then we can put that here instead of the variables phone number. Okay, so now we have a lot of details already. This is optional. Uh, business website is here. We have a consulting service. Describe what you sell. So it's really tricky. It's a digital marketing consulting business. We sell SEO services, web design, PPC advertising, email marketing, chatbots, etc. So that's a quick, simple work we do. You, the individual, or sole proprietor. So you can you can continue with these details. In fact, you can put the details you have already. So for yourself, your name. Let me put there as Nana, Nana J, 
and I am the okay let's say CEO and let's put a phone number here once again and the date of birth 09 10 1994 okay last four digit of social security number that wouldn't be necessary for now but let's put something there one four four one i think we are going to duplicate the address we have here copy for our home address we're going to use the same thing here okay a second address copy okay i think we are doing great credit card statement details blah 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 powerful yes now one very important aspect of bank details so until you are a u.s citizen you don't have these routing numbers and account number you have to confirm this account number as well you need to be a u.s citizen before, before you can have this but i think if you go to the 500 dollar stripe atlas way you will be handed a bank account from the u.s immediately i also realized this adverts on one of the stations i listen to which says i think west cup i have not explored it yet but west capital west capital let's see west capital market and see if it's a global finance service needs of cooperation government and municipality institution blah 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 okay west capital markets west capital markets Mm, okay let's see let's cap what services they provide i think they said they can give you a u.s address u.s phone number okay and with the global finance service needs cooperation government maintain leadership blah 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 cooperation measures and acquisition blah 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 standby letter of credit bank guarantee letter of credit lc trade financing so this is a website we can call and ask them about what we hear from their adverts that they can provide us with bank account within three days or so and how much they are going to charge or how they go about that. So you go to their contact us and then you speak to them. They are Ghana contact info. There you have it. You can speak to them. And they, they can provide you with a service if you need it. But what we are going to use is another online too, which is Payoneer. Let's sign in into our Payoneer account. There you are with our Payoneer account. So our balance is $8.90. With Payoneer, you have a global payments service that's what we are going to look at you can withdraw to your bank account view transactions and the settings i have a whole video and a whole blog post on payoneer you can explore more on payoneer so what we are looking for is a global payment service where they give you a u.s bank account a virtual one with a routing number and a phone number okay so there you are with the routing aba number and the account number you copy that and put it into the routing number one two three four five six seven eight nine so it should be nine digits and the account number you copy that and we put it in there as well we confirm that okay we wouldn't use a you um a two-step authentication for now because anytime you are logging into the account this will be necessary there's another layer of security which you can explore i think you can use that you can also use google authenticator that is also accepted now you either save for later or you submit the application the application will be logged into and your account will be up and doing already so Without much ado, let me save. Oh, okay, so we should provide a phone number here. A support phone number. Sorry. Let's go to test now. 
there you are with the phone number you copy and then go here put it in the support phone number area you can let me submit the application and I think within days or let's say a week you receive your application whether your account has been accepted and you have a stripe account for payments mm -hmm. I have that accounts number on one of my accounts already so I don't think Oh, I don't want it to go on another account. I have to... No, not now. So there you are. There you are. There you are. Welcome to Stripe. Integrate with Stripe by choosing a payment flow that's right for your business. Prefer not to write code, use an app instead. So on your phone, you can use an app. Activate your account, reviewing times for submitting. We are verifying your details. We should take a few moments. Pick an app. Start an online store, popular tools to start selling globally on the web, issue invoices, create subscriptions, and all that you can do with a Stripe app. Frequently ask questions, get your live API keys. This is very, very important. We'll look at that later. These are the details you need to put on your online store or wherever they're asking for your Stripe account. You put those secret key and your publishing key there and then it will be linked to this account. So when someone pays you, then it will hit your Stripe account. Please activate your account to get your live API keys. So if our account is activated already, then we can have access to that. So they are reviewing our account and that will be ready when our account is ready for use. Account is being reviewed. We will look at payments. When it starts trickling in, you start seeing your payments here, your refunds, and payments which were uncaptured. If you have disputes, they will appear here. Need response won and lost. Your balance, your payouts, your transactions. Your customers, they will all appear here. Your radar, reviews, you can try if you get even more out of the radar. Lists, rules, reviews, lists. This is a new account, so we may not have all these things. Your rules, this is more advanced. Your billings, invoice, subscription, products, and coupons. Get started with billing. You can connect other platforms to this account. You can use Stripe whenever you want someone to pay you. They can give you a simple form to give to anybody who want to pay you and it will hit your account. Why we link the premium account is that that is a virtual bank account, but it's also legitimate. So if someone pays us through Stripe, within, I think, a day or two or three or let's say a week, the money would then be sent to your bank account, which is your Payoneer account. And with Payoneer, if you avoid the Payoneer video, you can then take your money from the bank account you have linked to your Payoneer account in Ghana. So the money hits your Stripe account in the US, it will hit your Payoneer account in the US, and then Payoneer will also send the money to your bank account in Ghana. So it's a whole <laughs> tree or call it sequence, whatever you call it. Most importantly, it's your API keys. Yes, these are the powerful keys you need. <laughs> these are the live keys. I'll have to buy this. Review the live key token here. Mm, this is the secret key you need not to show anybody. And we have webhooks, events, and logs, events that have happened on your account. New account, external created, your account information was updated, your account information was updated. Anytime you log into this account from any computer, they would have to log, keep logs, or keep details of that computer because this is virtually your bank account that they wouldn't want anybody to enter into. So they'll keep all those details and always switch out for your email address and your inbox to see what is going on in your Stripe account. Anytime your account is opened 
or someone logs into your Stripe account, Stripe will send you an email to ask whether it, it is from you or from someone else. If it's from another computer, they'll immediately alert you that someone has logged into your Stripe account with another computer. If it's yourself, you verify that. If it's not you, you move on. So there's a, a test data you need to go through before you start using Stripe. So that's just about it. I think this video is taking so much time now, but that is how you create a Stripe account. We need to confirm the identity of your account owners before we can send payout to your bank account. Complete identification verification. So they will need to verify your identity as the owner of this business. So you need to provide very legitimate details. So that's just about it. Stripe. Stripe Ghana. How to create a Stripe account in Ghana. Yeah.